What's up everybody? <clears throat> it's Robert from Pheasant Lane Farm. So today I'm sitting in my dad's new Jayco M355 MBQS. This is a 2021 model. Only had it about three weeks. Um, two weekends ago we took it on our first trip. Got it back and had to go back to the dealer. <clears throat> so let me explain to you why I had to go back to the dealer. Uh, I believe there's three reasons. The first one was there's no hot water pressure. Um, we took a shower in it. We stayed in it one night, uh, my wife, daughter, and I, before we took it camping with the family to make sure everything worked before we didn't have any surprises. Um, the showers worked that night. We were playing with the horses. Everybody came in, took a shower, and went to bed. <coughs> Excuse me. The... I'm getting bombarded by dogs right now. The, uh, then we took it up to Lake Erie for the weekend with the family. Absolutely no hot water pressure when hooked to the city water. Um, and I did some research on the Jayco Facebook page and people are like, yeah, there's a plastic water pressure regulator, uh, something in there, it goes bad and you gotta have a brass one put on. So there was like absolutely no hot water. We tried uh, using the hot water heater through the storage tank still no hot water pressure and uh, it's just a minor inconvenience but you pay this much money for something MSRP on this unit I think is 85 granted no one pays anywhere near that but that's a lot of money to pay for something and not have hot water for the showers so let me go show you what it looks like we my dad took this my dad my brother and I took this to the dealer like two days after we got home from that trip they said, yeah, we'll fix it, no problem. We had a whole list of things for them. Um, I got tonight off, it's a Friday night, and we decided to come hang out. My dad's gonna have a campfire, and we're like, oh, we'll just crash in the uh, camper, have a few drinks, and then after we're brought, driving home, because do not drink and drive. But my dad, we hooked up to city water, had the electric tank on for a while. He said, try it out, still no water pressure. Let me go show you what that looks like. All right, so. This is the hot water hooked on city water with the electric water heater and that's the water pressure you get. It's horrible, you can't even take a shower with that. As you can see it's all the way on, turn it off now, dribbles, turn it on, still dribble. Turn this off, turn on the cold, we have shower pressure. Turn it off, nothing, turn the heat on, nothing. So that is the first annoying issue. It was annoying when it was camping. When we were camping, we took it back to the dealer. They said they fixed it and it's still annoying. So it's gonna go back to the dealer on Monday. All right, let me show you the next issue. All right, as you can see, we are in the master bedroom of the 355 MBQS. Parked at my dad's farm. Second issue of the camping trip that we found. When we were going to leave on Sunday morning, this slide would only come in about four inches and it would stop. This side would come in, it looked like this side would keep going, that side stopped, so it was kind of kicking like this, and uh, got on line, did some research, it says just keep trying it, eventually it'll work. 20 minutes later, not doing it non-stop, we'd take a couple minute break, come back. <clears throat> Finally it all came in, the dealer said that somehow in transport, that side of the slide had skipped a tooth. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it has to do with the gear drive to pull this slide in. So that was issue two. Um, this slide was put out earlier today. I haven't tried to bring it back in. Let me see. <clears throat> Let me see if that issue is fixed. So we're gonna bring this slide back in. Usually it's stop about there. Looks like it's working fine. And it wouldn't make a grinding noise, it would just stop dead in its track, so I'm sure there's a switch or something on it. All right, so this slide actually came in all the way. No problem, it did not do that when the day we were camping, so we're gonna go and put this back out. And now that I'm thinking of it, I think there was four issues we talked to the dealer about. Um, I know they're minor issues 
and I know from some family members that own these units, it doesn't matter how much you spend on these. Um, I know someone that had a hundred grand in their unit before they even got home from the dealer from picking it up Cupboard doors were laying on the floor and light fixtures in the ceiling were laying on the floor So don't get me wrong. It doesn't matter if you spend a 30 40 50 60 thousand dollar unit up to a hundred thousand dollar unit Expect some issues. That's just the way these are made for what they cost. They're beautiful units, but uh, They are just made on the assembly line so let me go show you some of the other issues we had with this. Now we're on the outside of the unit. Uh, problem number three is in the front. First things though I want to say is my dad ordered these wheel covers from I believe E-Trailer. They're brand new out. There's no reviews on them. They seem to be made of a pretty nice canvas. I like the grommets so you can wrap a bungee strap around the outside. But uh, this thing's going to sit out all summer and then get put away in the barn in the winter. So those are pretty nice and I've never had an issue with E-Trailer. The issues I have heard of, people are pretty good with the customer service. Issue number three, finger's not working. This door would not close or latch. Um, as you can see now, it pushes right in real nice. It was slid over quite a bit, and this edge, you had to hit it in on an angle to get it to close so we could even leave. And you can see up here, it looks like they just uh, moved that screw hole over a little bit. Get that to focus on there. It looks like they moved that screw hole over. So uh, it looks like crap, but uh, the door works and no one really notices it. But yeah, we had to basically slam this door. It's like the whole thing was shifted over and it was just annoying when you're trying to put the last blocks in here while the truck's hooked up and you could not get this door to latch, to shut or even latch. All right, problem number four. Bump my head here. Issue number four, not a huge issue, but uh, an issue nonetheless. Let's get back here. So when we were getting ready to leave, I was unhooking the power cord, which is between the kitchen slide and the bunk room slide. And I noticed that there's a couple cracks in here in this skin but the bad thing is it didn't happen since we started and you can't see on film but uh there's a crack there sorry i can't get to focus there's a crack there and it's starting to peel and from the factory it looks like they just put extra clear silicone over the top hoping it wouldn't ma wouldn't matter but uh, it seems to be getting bigger since once we first saw it the dealer said that they would repair it but it'd have to be a three month wait and we already have trips scheduled so they are going to get it in the fall and uh, keep it inside while they do that repair but a few minor things other than that it's a great unit it's a beautiful unit the uh, automatic leveling works great but just a few uh, little bugaboos i'll call them that you expect to be perfect for uh depending on where you get these units you're going to run that amount of money um it's quite pricey so Everything else is working. They said they to fix the issue behind the water heater right there. They said that uh, they had they put a brass pressure relief valve in there. They say they come with a cheap plastic one. And the Jayco guys even said, yeah, they should put good ones in from the factory. They don't. This brass one will fix all your issues, but it didn't. So no big deal it's under warranty we deal with a great dealer so it'll be going back to the dealership for a second time since we've had it in three weeks but other than that love it great unit and uh gramps is over there checking it out so i'm being beckoned by the wife and the dog and my dad so just a little update on this guys if you have any questions shoot us a message Love the unit. Just uh, wish things would work right for uh, the price you pay for these. Take it easy, everybody.